Hey Bethel, this is Pastor Chris here. I hope that you're having a great week. We had a few cold days there, but hopefully it warms up at least a little bit. And you know, as with these videos, we just want to make sure you have a sense of what's going on with the church and how you can participate and even what to expect over the next week. So importantly, this Sunday, there's a few things I'd like for you to know about. One of which is that immediately after worship, we're inviting all young adults to join us for lunch after here at the church. And so that looks like it, we're going to do a pizza lunch and certainly friends are welcome. And we just want to find a way just to reconnect with a lot of our young adults that we always don't always get to see. And so if you're a young adult and you're kind of wondering when when's the next time you might be worshiping at church, we love for it to be this Sunday so we can connect with you, see you and just hear how you're doing. Uh, so please uh, join us for worship and please stay after uh, for food. And if you have any questions, uh, you can follow us on our on our Discover Bethel Young Adult Instagram account because we'll put more details about the event there. The other thing I want to make sure you know is that this Sunday we're celebrating communion together as a church. And throughout the whole past year, you know, several years actually, communion as, a, as experience in the church has been a little different. We've embraced celebrating communion at home in our individual homes. And even when we started gathering in person, we We've done different things to accommodate for that, you know, with the disposable cups. But I would like to shift a little bit this Sunday and invite you to experience the, the body and blood of Christ that's been broken and poured out for you in a slightly different, fuller, richer way. And so I just wanted to give everyone a heads up about that. We're going to be serving it slightly different on Sunday, still trying to honor uh, people's space. Uh, but we're also going to take some additional time in our service for that to happen and to do it in a more full way. And we would love for you to be part of that as an act of faith and the good news of what Jesus has proclaimed over you through his sacrifice. So just want you to be aware of that, and um, please join us for communion this Sunday. Now, two last things I want to mention that are coming up, and are about next week. So next week, we have two events that um, I just want you to have on your radar. The first of which is next Wednesday. So it's Ash Wednesday, March 2nd, which is the beginning of Lent. And Lent is a wonderful rhythm in the Christian calendar of, of faith practices and committing to seeking Jesus in your life. And so we're going to have a dedicated prayer and worship service March 2nd at 7 p.m. We'd love for you to be part of it. Joining with us, it's going to be an extended amount of time through worship, through music. Um, it's going to be reflective in nature in the sense of how can I follow Jesus more in this season? And maybe you need space to answer that question. So we would love for you to join us again March 2nd. 7 p.m. Put it on your calendars. Have it on your radar. We'd love to see you there. And then the last thing I want to mention today is that our Bethel Men's Ministry Group are going to start offering men's breakfasts coming up in this spring. The first of which is next week. It's a week from Saturday, March 5th. So March 5th. And uh, I think in the past when we've had the breakfast, it's at 8.30 a.m., but I'll confirm some details with that, and they'll be likely posted below or online. But we just want to connect with the men in our church, so that just means coming for a good meal. If you'd like to volunteer, please let us know, and we'll get you, we'll get you connected with the, the breakfast crew. And uh, part of that is just creating some space for connection and fellowship, one of the things that's been lacking so much in the church. So if you're... A men at Bethel, or you know someone who you want to get connected with some other men at Bethel, this is a great opportunity, and we'd love to see you there. Hope God's grace and peace follows you this week, that he blesses you and uh, leads you to the hidden gifts that he has this week. We'll see you next week. <laughs>